going on everybody? Today, a unboxing for you. Uh, today I picked up the new controllers from for the Xbox Series X and Series S. They do work on the older Xbox One as well, so you pretty much can just buy this to upgrade your current gear and still use it on everything. Uh, this works for the Series X and this works for the Xbox One and Series S. In fact, it says it right there, if it'll focus on it, yep, Series X, S, Xbox One, Windows 10, Android, and iOS. So, of course, I will be using this mainly right now because I don't have a Series X or S because of the shortages in it. But I'm picking these up to be ahead of the game, and yeah. So, Series Song thumbnail. That, I didn't pick up just one. I picked up a second color, and the controller almost just popped out of the back. But I picked up two colors. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the white one since it wants to open up so bad. Um, yeah, so it, it already opened up and obviously they all come with AA batteries still. Kind of don't know why they don't just make it play and charge automatically. But this is the presentation that Microsoft wants you to have with the Series X and S controllers. They're very, it's very, it's like this part right here, I, let, me, let me zoom in for you guys. So this part right here, I, it, to me, it, I don't know. I kind of like the look of the old one in that for the look, but the grip on the side of this whole thing, it is pretty grippy. You can kind of tell it right there. There's a little thing there, but you can kind of see the grip right there. My camera's kind of over bokehing it, but this controller uses type C. So it's the same port as your Android phones, your switch, your iPad pros and all that stuff. So it's good. It feels good too. And it's got little uh, rubber tips for like the actual, what's it called, the shoulder buttons right here, the triggers. So let me see if I can get that in frame right there. Looks like it doesn't want to, there you go, you can kind of see the rubberized look right there. Yeah, and in comparison to it, um, let me see if I can find the older one real quick. This right here is the one like i guess we can call it in the middle the generation of xbox one generation it's kind of older controller for me it does also have a rubberized feel but it's not as rubberized as let's say this one here where you can clearly see it in fact let me do this so it would focus on it you can see the rubberized look right there kind of not really rubberized barely there but i like this one better to me just because i like the design of this area here but overall it feels good um, it looks good, and we'll look at the blue one right there in a second. So here it is right there. That is the white. This is Robot White. And putting that aside and continuing into the box, you got the usual stuff. Xbox manual. Uh, you got your usual controller manuals and things like that. And yeah. Last thing, we got Game Pass there. So obviously... You guys, this will be obviously blurred out, but you get Game Pass Ultimate. What is it? How much do you get? How many days? You get 14 days free of Game Pass Ultimate, which is pretty dope. So I'm going to definitely take use of this. And yeah, the box is empty. Let's see the blue one too. So the blue one, this, the blue one is actually shock blue. So the blue one I kind of like more. I like something that's more color. You know, I like having a lot of color in my stuff. So I like the look of the blue. This is shock blue for the controller. Let me zoom out a little bit. And yeah, let's take a look inside. So apparently the seal on my one was kind of broken. Yeah, yeah, the seal was broken. So let me put that aside. And now pop it open. We got, whew, I like this. I, You know, if I do an unboxing of anything, and I don't do it often, I have to do the sniff test. So oh man this smells like new this this smells like real new and here they are side by side we got robot white and we got shock blue i really like shock blue more than the robot white this is the d-pad on it right there feels good feels clean you got the share button there you got the I forgot what this is probably the back button the menu button um and you got the your usual xbox button this also comes with the same things inside and yeah, so let's put this aside. I'm not even gonna bother finishing opening this up. But the last thing I wanted to do too was show you guys all of the controllers that I have so far with Xbox. Um, actually, there's one thing I wanted to mention. Up here, this lip right here, I don't know if you can see it too well. I don't like that lip right there. I feel like they should just flatten this area. 
but this lip it really doesn't it, it's kind of hard to see but it really is an annoying lip it's things get caught on it so like for example if I take this little SD card reader right it can get it kind of nicks the, the, the lip and it's kind of annoying whereas this one it's smooth because it's not as far up so that's the only thing annoying with it but here it is here is the four and then there is one more so here is the full family of Xbox one controllers that I have I have pretty much just four controllers this one here is my day one uh, 2013 controller from when the Xbox one first came out still have it still works well obviously this one I got a little re more recent probably like two years ago uh, you can kind of find it in a lot of stores it's more rubberized grip it's got a different texture it's two di it's one continuous piece for this top part here and then here they are we got the robot white Xbox series X S series controllers and then the last thing I have is the shock blue which feels and looks I love this look I, I love shock blue and in fact the top is actually so it's three colors on this controller whereas the robot white is strictly just white so but they both use type C whereas these two older ones they used uh, the older version right there so yeah so that is the Xbox one Xbox Series X controllers just like that and uh, yeah I don't have an Xbox Series X yet hope to get one soon if I can even get one that's in stock but yeah that is the four that I got and uh, there'll be some more videos on them later but it's a pretty straightforward thing I don't really need to do much with it um, I guess the last thing too is that this day one controller I like the shine that they did on the d-pad there it feels good with the d-pad but yet this one here you know it it I understand this d-pad here but like I, I still like this classic d-pad more than this one so you can kind of see that I, I don't know how I feel about this so hopefully they fix that kind of thing I doubt they will obviously but that'll probably push me to getting maybe a series the, the elite series 3 where it will have the share button and everything like that so yeah that is it for this video that was my quick unboxing if you have any comments leave it in the comment section below but as always enjoy your Tuesday everybody and take care